What to stream in quarantine? It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. It's Friday, and that means film and entertainment critic Ryan J has new ideas for streaming this weekend. I love that new open, Ryan. Thanks so much. Thank you to Paul for helping me out like for that. And also, uh, VO, my friend, Harry Lag. Love it. Okay, so here's the deal. People are still looking for stuff to stream, and they're kind of running out. So you've got some new ideas that are available now. The first one is The Assistant, and this is rated R. Yes, this is the new movie. You're watching Ozark on Netflix, right? Yeah, I finished it. Okay, great. I love that show. It's such a great show. Laura Linney, Jason Bateman. But The Assistant stars Emmy winner Julia Garner, who plays Ruth in Ozark on Netflix. She's a standout on love that show. Her. Love her so much. So it was really fun to see her do a film. Okay. Is that, who's in the other part of the cast? Here we also have uh, Patrick Wilson. She pl he plays the uh, movie executive that Julia is the uh, ex assistant to. We also have Matthew McFadden from HBO's Succession. It's really good to see him in there. And what I love about Julia in this movie is that she, uh, you know, in Ozark, she does that great Southern accent. And she's actually born and raised in New York City. So it's fun to kind of hear her do a role with her original voice. Oh, that's weird. I kind of like Very it, weird. though. You know, it, it feels a little dark, sort of like in Ozark. Is the pacing similar? It is very deliberately paced. It's not as suspenseful and actiony as Ozark is. It's really just a day, a day in the life of an assistant. And she's working for a very high powered cutthroat movie exec in New York City. But it's like uh, the devil wears Prada, but without any glamour, great soundtrack, just kind of more, uh, more gritty. So that's available now on, on demand and digitally. Do you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Okay, it's a little okay. slow. It's slow, but I love her, so I could watch her do anything. Okay, good. I just wanted to know. All right, the next one, Dear Skin, rated R. This is my favorite new movie of the week. This movie is in French with English subtitles. It's from France, and it is the very rare but successful crossbreed of comedy and horror. And Tiffany, based on like what you've been watching lately with the platform and everything else, I think you'll really enjoy this because it's not like scary horror. It's kind of funny horror. It's got the tone sort of like no country for old men. Did you ever see that movie? Yes. Yes. And I loved it. Love. Okay. So, Love. Uh, okay, okay, there's a marketing line in this film, right? Yeah, there's a line at the end where they're kind of, um, they say it's like a, a middle-aged masculinity gone awry, which I think is a great hook. And I think this is the kind of movie where going into it, the less you know about it is actually the better because it's kind of fun. Like, so don't read about it. Don't watch the trailer. Just trust me. It's a really great film. It's about a guy who has some delusions of grandeur and he basically becomes obsessed. This is going to sound really silly and odd. He becomes obsessed with a fringy jacket to the point where <laughs> he slowly descends into insanity. He has this irrational relationship with his jacket. He starts talking to it. Maybe the jacket starts talking back to him. It sounds crazy. I'm telling you, it's so watchable and fun. And very likely in quarantine. So... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there's a thing, there's actually a thing about, uh, there's a line in the movie where they talk about being alone together. And I was like, wow, how prophetic. Okay, I like this one. All right, and there's a little flash of a deer too. Who is that lead actor, by the way? That's Jean Dujardin, who won Best Actor for the film The Artist a few years ago. Remember, that was the movie yes. that was silent, black and white. He's so watchable. I love him in anything, and he is such a ham, and this movie is terrific. Okay, so not too disturbing. You laughed a little. Yeah, definitely laughs and a little bit of disturbing stuff, too. So you'll love this movie. I loved it. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I'm going to watch it. Deerskin, that's what that one was. The last one you've got today is The Wretched, rated R. Right. And I'm so excited. You know, I love horror movies. This is not your cup of tea, but this is the kind of movie where you want to close the blinds and turn off all the lights and kind of get ready for some good scares. It's pretty gory, pretty gross at times and uh, actually started out almost like a pre or early Steven Spielberg type film uh, and then and then became less great. OK, so how gory is it? It's pretty gory, but it's the gore isn't so much with what's going on with the humans. And for some reason, that's another conversation we should have sometime when we're watching movies with humans being mutilated and it doesn't bother you. But when you see animals and gory scenes and it's like, oh, no, I can't watch that. I feel so bad. So <laughs> this is that kind of movie. It's, uh, there's some animal gore that really, really upset me. OK, is this kind of one of the scary movies you would compare to classic scary movies or is new sort of yeah. scary? Absolutely. There are, there, it is very derivative of like It, Jaws, Poltergeist, Paranormal Activity. It has all of those really, really great um, influences in this film. The first half of the film is very rated R feeling and is really great. Then kind of gets kind of pg 13 He feels kind of after school specially. So doesn't get that good halfway through, but that has a very clever ending. Okay. Was there anything you wanted more of? 
Yeah, I think so. I would have liked it to be a little bit more scary. Okay. I would have liked, yeah, I would have like, it's kind of, it's about, it's like, there's something going on next door to this kid, and it's like either a haunted house or a witch, but it's a really good monster movie. So if you want to check it out, The Wretched is there for you. There you go. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, too. All right, you can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter, and for his full movie reviews, check out his website, ryanjreviews.com.